Also, Action 8 Nigeria has commended efforts of the present administration in Kwara State at improving the socioeconomic lives of women and children. The country director, Action 8 Nigeria, Andrew Mamudu, and other speakers who spoke at the partners' meeting in Ilorin, the Kwara State capital, noted that the organization had seen the willingness on the part of the state government to support issues of gender-based violence, women economic empowerment, and women political participation. Mamidu maintained that the group has also seen a couple of laws, child rights acts, issues of violence against women, persons, bill, and act passed in Kwara, as well as the commitment of the state government to appoint uh, for, to the appointment of women into political positions, noting also that the state government is currently pursuing a 50-50 target. We have seen a couple of um, laws, um, child rights acts, um, issues of um, violence against uh, women, persons, bill acts, that, that, those have been passed at the state. And then we have seen commitments of the state government in terms of appointment of women. You have the 50-50 um, targets that the state government is currently pursuing. You have women currently, um, six women in the State House of Assembly, which was zero before. Also speaking, the State Commissioner for Women Affairs, Abosede Buraimo, said investment of the Action Aid Nigeria in women and children in Kwara State in the past 17 years has been beneficial to all. I want to comment uh, what the Action Aid is doing in Nigeria and especially in Kwara State for investing in the, our women. Uh, of course, the Kwara State government is so passionate about the welfare of the citizen especially the women and children. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.